What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Octavia Darling, and welcome back to my channel. So let's hop right into this video. I'm using the Lock Licious Lock and Twist Moisturizer to retwist my locks before I style it. And if you have any questions on how I retwist, um, I'll make sure to link that video in the top right corner. So if you look at your screen, you should see the link there. You can check out that video and make sure you come back to finish watching this tutorial. So... I've done the lock bob before, but I've done it with two strand twists, and this time around, I chose to do a braided lock bob because I have an odd number of locks. One of the things that I realized that I struggled with the most when I did the two strand twist bob is that I had to add an extra lock in one of the twists because I have an odd number of locks, and I didn't really like that. So I figured this time around, why not just maximize off of the fact that I have an odd number of locks and do braids instead since those require three strands anyway. So I'm just braiding my hair down and when I get to a certain point, um, meaning the length that I want my bob to actually be at, then I just tuck the locks up and then wrap it around the, the I want to say the end of the braid, but where I stopped braiding. And this is how you create the knot part of the lock knot. So after I finish wrapping my locks around, then I'm going to grab a rubber band and Side note guys, I put oil over my rubber bands before I decided to add it to my hair and that's because I've been experiencing slight little, I don't want to say breakage, but thinning at the um, ends of my locks more frequently lately and I think it's because of the way I've been wrapping my um, rubber bands around my locks when I'm doing certain styles. So it was recommended to me from one of my followers off of TikTok to put oil on the rubber bands before you put it on your hair. So that's what I did. But I just secured it. I wrapped it around, I think, two or three times. Not too many times, but I, I mainly wrapped it where I know that the ends of my locks would, would be showing so that they could be fully secure. So... I wanted to do like more so of an asymmetrical bob this time around instead of just, you know, a normal bob where all your hair is at the same length. So on one side of my head, which is my left side, I wanted to do that side a little bit shorter. So you'll notice throughout this video that my locks are going to be shorter on that side. And then on my right side, they're just going to be a little bit longer to give that asymmetrical illusion. So I'll show you all once again what I'm doing, which is smoothing down my roots, um, retwisting my locks before I braid them down, and then I'm going to fold the locks up and then wrap them around so that they can be at the same length as the other lock knot braid. It's so funny because when I was um, doing my retwist, I was like, girl, you are getting quicker and quicker and you're becoming way more effective with doing your retwist. Even though I dread doing retwists. Am I the only one? Like whenever it's time to retwist my hair, I'm like, man, I don't even feel like it. Even though it takes me about an hour, maybe an hour and a half sometimes, it's still like, dang, I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> but I think that's like, just part of the whole thing of trusting the process, enjoying your, your lock journey, because I promise you, I thought locking my hair, I wouldn't have to have that feeling of dreading to do my hair anymore. <laughs> now I'm just playing, but this feeling definitely come every blue moon, because I'm really, really, really feeling no retwists a lot more lately. I actually did a recent video, if you haven't seen that, with um, some no retwist styles. I'll make sure to link that for you, but I don't know. It's about to start getting colder and stuff outside. I think I'm going to be rocking more no retwists opposed to doing 
lock styles to where my scalp is going to be exposed. Okay, so moving along, um, if you've been rocking with me for a little while, then you know I like to share inspirational messages from time to time in some of my videos, and I'm going to do that with you all today. So today I want to talk about the power of manifestation. And what led me to talk about this is because this morning when I was on my way to the gym, I was thinking about when was the first moment that I realized that I can actually manifest something? And as I was pondering on that thought, I realized that it's when I was 17 years old. So just to share a little bit of my story, when I was 17, I graduated from high school. And two weeks after graduating from high school, I moved to Florida and I went to college and I stayed in Florida for 10 years. So let me just give you, let me paint a picture for you. Imagine being 17, getting your first apartment, not knowing anything really about paying bills, not knowing the, the um, you know, what comes along with being an adult, the responsibility, but your whole mindset is you want to be free, you want to be a, gone far away from your home, and you just want to be in a completely new environment. Well, that was what my mindset was. I remember when I was a junior in high school, all I could think about is, you know what, I'm ready to get up out of Chicago. Like, I'm ready to roll out. I don't want to be in this environment no more. I don't want to stay here. I want to go away. I want to go far, far away. I just didn't like the environment that I was in. So I literally thought about that every single day I used to write in my journal how bad I wanted to move that I wanted to move to Florida I mean yeah I wanted to go to college but that wasn't my main thought my main thought was getting away moving being independent doing my own thing not having to listen to nobody rules or anything like that <laughs> I was really doing the most but it benefited me so I remember doing that and I ended up um, going to this college in Florida called Full Sail, and this is an all-time year-round school. So you can start school anytime throughout the year. You don't have to wait until August, and it's not like a traditional school where you end in May. So this school, I was able to start in June, and I remember when I had to write a paper to qualify to get in, all of these things. I did it because I was so determined to make sure that I manifested what my heart truly desired and that was independence to be on my own in a warmer climate doing my own thing and the fact that it actually happened like I'm thinking back to that moment today it is mind-blowing to me because it's like girl you were only 17 years old and you knew what you wanted you went after it there was nothing that could stand in your way there were naysayers who was like Octavia are you sure you want to go that far away from home are you sure you want to go on your own you're going to be living out there by yourself you can be in an apartment you're not even going to be living in a dorm are you going to be able to do this by yourself everything that people had to say I let it go in one ear and out the other because I was looking at the bigger picture I knew that thriving in my independence is the best way for me I know how I am and I know that the environment that I was in and the people that I was around and the things that I was associating with myself with was not going to lead me to where I wanted to go in life I knew at that young age that I had to change my environment, that I had to uh, align my actions with my thoughts in order for me to end up where I wanted to be. And it worked out for me. But what made me think about that was because lately I've been wanting to unlock that same level of drive that I had at that young age I want to have that same sense of power that same sense of determination that be that person who's willing to take the risk not listening to the naysayers being determined to reach my goals doing whatever I need to do making sure that my actions align with my thoughts that is what my mind was set on 
And I wanted to make sure that I was on that right path. So I did what was necessary. And I wanted to share that message with you all today because sometimes you just got to think back to that first moment that you remember that you got exactly what you wanted. And you got that because you used your power to make it happen. You were in alignment with what your dreams were. Sometimes we have to think back on those moments so that we can make sure I'm sorry, sometimes we can we have to think back on those moments to remember how powerful we truly are. And when you remember how powerful you truly are, then you get to work on unlocking that power again. And when you unlock that power again, you can kick it up another notch because you already know that you're capable of making it happen. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all today. It's been on my heart. I hope that message is that message touches somebody as much as it's touched me but you know just to think back on how young I was but how powerful I was and where I'm at right now today and just thinking about that level of power that I could unlock today it just gives me chills okay y'all so that concludes my YouTube video for today cute tutorial on a braided lock knot bob I really love the results. I'm so glad that I decided to go through with it and get it done this morning because your girl was struggling to get out of the bed. But I'm glad I did it. I think this is so cute. This could actually be considered an asymmetrical bob because this side is a little bit longer than this side, which is exactly the look that I was going for. So I want you all to comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Tell me what you think about it. Would you try this style? And is there anything that I could have done differently? Let me know. As always, thank you so much for tuning in and watching another video from your girl, Octavia Darling. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Octavia.Darling as well as TikTok. Oh, and don't forget to comment down below the kind of content that you like to see. See y'all in the next video. Bye.